Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new Raspberry Pi 4 powered laptop. And, you know, I've actually taken a look at a few on the channel. This one has turned out to be my favorite so far. This is known as the Crow Pi L, and they've done a lot of upgrades with the L version. It is coming in a bit cheaper than the original Crow Pi, and it's got a built-in battery, so it is a real portable laptop that'll last up to three hours with the Raspberry Pi 4. So yeah, I think they've done a great job redesigning the Crow Pi. The original one did have a really nice screen on it, but it was a bit lackluster given that it didn't have a built-in battery. And after all, I mean, these are supposed to be laptops that are fully portable. And this one here does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Really easy to set up with the Raspberry Pi 4. And some of you might be thinking, why didn't they just go with the CM4? And it really comes down to availability right now. It's really hard to get your hands on a CM4 at the time of making this video. So inside of the box, obviously, you're going to get the Crow Pi L. Also comes with a wireless mouse, but there is a trackpad built into the laptop itself. Personally, I would just rather use a physical mouse. We've got the accessory boards to mount the Raspberry Pi 4 inside of the laptop. And it also comes with what they're calling their Crow Tail Adapter Board. And the Crow Tail Starter Kit, which is a bunch of sensors that can be used with this laptop or a Raspberry Pi 4 in general, does come with the Crow Pi Advanced Kit, or you can go with the basic that doesn't come with all of that. We've also got a 12 volt USB type C adapter to charge up the internal battery. It'll also power the unit while it's charging the battery. Flipping the unit over reveals a couple of hatches. One is screwed in, that's where our battery's located. And this one here is magnetically attached. This is where our Raspberry Pi 4 is gonna go. So this does have kind of a dual boot system. It comes with a little micro SD card adapter with a switch on it. We can install two different micro SD cards with two different operating systems. And with the flip of a switch, we can boot into either one of them. Really loving what they've done here with the power and HDMI adapter. Runs on a ribbon cable to the laptop itself. And with a lot of these Pi powered laptops, they just have those micro HDMI cables inside of the unit. You got to kind of tuck them out of the way. But this comes with the daughter boards we need to get everything up and running. And it's super clean once it's installed. I'll go ahead and put this together real quick. And it's super simple the way this is set up. It actually uses one of the USB 2.0 ports to power this board. You've got a little ribbon cable that needs to be installed. And that attaches right to the HDMI slash power board. And then in turn, we're just going to plug this one ribbon cable in to the laptop itself once we situate the Pi in here. And like I mentioned, it does come with this dual boot SD card adapter. We can put a card in the top, card in the bottom, and we can switch between A and B. And once we have that assembled, we can slide the Raspberry Pi right in here. We'll still have access to the Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, and one USB 2.0 port. It also has a GPIO adapter to feed the 40 GPIO pins on the Pi to the laptop. And on this adapter, it does have a little fan. So we can keep this thing nice and chilly when it's all installed. It's just going to plug right in. And once it's all set up, it looks something like this. I mean, I think they did a really good job designing this setup. Raspberry Pi 4 sits right in here very nicely. We've got that one ribbon cable and the GPIO pins going to the main board on the laptop itself. And we still have access to the Ethernet, two USB 3.0 ports, and USB 2.0. This does have dual stereo speakers built in, and over on the right hand side, we have our 3.5mm audio jack, full size HDMI out, USB type C, and we've also got that Crow Tail adapter. So for the Crow Tail accessory board, it plugs directly in here, and if you have the Crow Tail sensor kit, you can plug in a ton of different sensors and control them directly from the Raspberry Pi laptop. Like I mentioned, we have taken a look at a few different Raspberry Pi powered laptops on the channel, but every single one of them needed to be plugged into the wall. Luckily, this one here does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. They're claiming up to three hours of battery life. And one thing I really like about this is the screen. It's only an 11.6 inch, but it's IPS. It's got great colors. We can control the brightness directly from the keyboard using the function keys. It does have a built-in camera. And overall, I think they did a pretty decent job with this unit. Now, shoving a Raspberry Pi 4 in the bottom of something like this is going to make it a bit thicker than a regular laptop with a Ryzen APU in it or even an Intel CPU. So I'm not going to fault them for that. But, you know, it's definitely a thicker laptop because we've got a Raspberry Pi 4 shoved in the bottom of this. If they were able to use a CM4, they could make this much thinner. But I think what they have here is a really nice little setup. So obviously the keyboard is going to be connected over USB because we've plugged everything in. We've got this smaller trackpad with left click and right click. It works. I'm not a huge fan of trackpads in the first place. This is not a high quality trackpad and I think that's one of the big reasons they send a mouse with it. 
So yeah, I think they chose a really great screen here. Bright, it's an IPS display. We can adjust the brightness directly from the keyboard. And if you see any banding in this video, just note that it's due to the camera filming the screen. You won't see it with the naked eye. Trackpad is up here. It's usable, but I would rather plug in a mouse and keyboard, but you could definitely use it if you needed to. Up in the top, we do have a battery indicator. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us a percentage. It only gives us four segments, but it'll tell us when it's charging or discharging. And the operating system here is Raspbian. It's just a reskinned version of Raspbian. And by the way, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model in this unit, but it'll work with a 1, 2, or 4. So if you're familiar with the Raspberry Pi 4's performance, that's exactly what you can expect from here. Slapping a Raspberry Pi 4 inside of a laptop isn't going to speed it up any. You can definitely do some overclocking because we've got that built-in fan. But remember, overclocking the Pi 4 will burn more energy, so you can expect a lot less battery life out of it. But one of my favorite things about the way they have this operating system set up right now is the fact that they have Pi Panel pre-installed. Now this makes it really easy to program extra hardware with this laptop using the GPIO adapter and their sensor kit. So with this project here, we need the ultrasonic sensor and the LCD panel. We can actually just start it up, the code's ready to go. So you can just start it up here, but then you can do a deep dive into the code to see how it works and you can modify it and make it work a little differently. It makes it really easy to learn coding with extra hardware on this laptop. And we'll take a look at one of these little projects in a second, but we're going to head over to the Chromium browser. After all, it's just Raspberry Pi OS with a nice little skin over it. We'll head over to YouTube, and with the Pi 4, no overclock going whatsoever. It actually does 720p 30fps video pretty well. The laptop does have dual stereo speakers built in, but they're pointed towards the rear like we saw at the beginning of the video. So you really do need to turn this all the way up to enjoy it properly. They sound pretty good at max volume, I mean they're not blurring or anything like that, but it would have been nice to see these speakers kind of pointed or angled towards the front so you could hear it just a little bit better. But yeah, overall you can do anything on this laptop that you could with the Raspberry Pi 4 by itself. Basically we've just got a built in battery, keyboard, trackpad, and an 11.6 inch IPS display. And the way the video output on the Pi is set up, it's actually running over HDMI, it's just running over that ribbon cable from that adapter board. The Crow Pi L that I have in my possession was the advanced kit, which does come with all of the sensors. Here's their Crow Tail kit. Everything you need to get up and running, we've got some ultrasonic sensors, LEDs, motors, LCDs, and it does work out really well with their adapter board and the software they have pre-installed. I'm just going to go with a simple 4 RGB LED board here. I've already uh, plugged in my wiring to it. We'll open up the software. We can go to Projects. And from here, we can find one that requires this board. So we'll just plug it right in. It's got to be on the correct pin that they have it set up with. We'll start it. And there it is. So we've got those LEDs kind of cascading across. And we can actually go in and modify this. We can change the colors. Gives us a nice little list of all of the instructions used for this code. That way you can kind of customize it, make it your own, and just learn a little more about how this works. And with that dual boot option, they make it really easy to set up two different operating systems with two different SD cards. I've set up Batocera on another one, and here it is. So we've now got a little retro console, battery powered, and you can connect a Bluetooth controller because the Pi 4 does have Bluetooth built in, but I just use this wired controller here. And with Batocera, there was really nothing I needed to do. The sound worked and everything right out of the box. Let's go ahead and get into a little bit of Doom. So yeah, it'll run any Raspberry Pi 4 operating system, and we don't need to do much here because everything's running over HDMI, our sound and our video, so there's no configuration needed. I mean, it's just working like a monitor with a keyboard plugged into one of the USB ports. So overall, the Crow Pi L is a great little Raspberry Pi laptop. I personally really like this one compared to the others we've tested, and mainly because this is fully portable with that built-in battery. Of course, it would be nice to have a much thinner body on this, but we're using a Raspberry Pi 4 here, and you really can't get much thinner than this with the Pi shoved in the bottom of this thing. So if you're interested in learning more about the Crow Pi L, I will leave a few links in the description. They're offering two different models here. You can get one with all of the sensors and everything already included, or you can go with the base model. But as far as I can tell, you will need to add your own Raspberry Pi 4. I don't know if they're selling models with the Pi 4 included. 
But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.